When I was a kid, my best friend's father had a treasure map. At least our nine-year-old selves thought it was a treasure map. Turned out to be a paper placemat for a pirate-themed seafood restaurant. But that didn't deter us. We still dreamed of finding buried or sunken treasure. Little did we know that decades later, finding sunken chests of gold deep in the unknown could be done with a treasure hunting drone. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Tales of sunken treasure hidden deep under the ocean floor have kept us intrigued for centuries. We know it's there, but how do you find it? The current and best technology used in undersea exploration has significant limitations. Turns out one adventurous entrepreneur and a PhD scientist worked to create an underwater drone called the Sea Searcher that can, for the first time, discern different kinds of metals or treasure that lie on top of and even beneath the ocean floor. I made my way to Melbourne, Florida to meet treasure hunter Kyle Kennedy and see this game-changing innovation for myself. What is the current technology that's available? What does that technology allow the treasure hunter to see? The current technology is what's called a cesium vapor magnetometer. And all it sees is iron. This is iron. This is one of the nails from one of our shipwrecks. These ships had over 10,000 of these nails in them. So where these ships sink, there's a big pile of iron. Because of that big pile of iron, it shows up like a Christmas tree on a chart. And the treasure hunters have to dive and manually seek it out? Yes, and not only do they have to dive to do that, they have to remove the overburden of sand. Because these items may sink 10, 15 feet into the sand. You get down there and you find out, oh, it's another nail. <laughs> you know, rats. The Treasure Coast is near NASA, home to a profusion of scientists. Hi, Tim. Adam. Including Tim Reynolds, who developed the Sea Searcher for Kyle to identify precious metals like silver and gold. Around this wing are many sensors, some that are designed to look down below the ocean floor in the sand, and some that are designed to distinguish between different types of metal. So what is the operator seeing as they are operating this? So the operator sees what's on this display here. So this is going up to 10 meters down into the ocean floor, showing that there are objects here below the ocean floor. Here's the sand on top, and then here are the objects that are below the ocean floor. Now, if we saw an object here we were interested in, we could click on that object and it would actually bring up a 3D representation that we could spin around and see that object. Now is the sea searcher actively moving over shipwrecks? We're doing a combination of continuing to validate it with known targets and then running over unknown areas and seeing what those look like. I headed out with the Seafarer research team to see the drone in action. And every time you see a highlighted area like these here, mm -hmm. you're getting a reflection, a dense reflection from an object below the seafloor. So at that point, we'll send our dive team out to verify the objects and give us feedback as to what we're actually seeing. You could have enough information that your divers are able to sort of strike surgically. Oh, definitely. And what's the potential treasure haul using this metal detecting technology? There is still treasure off this coast. Oh, a massive amount, Adam. <laughs> and most people don't understand how much treasure is out there. It's a lot. <laughs>